This is a crazy story. Me and my boyfriend, David, are currently living with his wife, Harley. David and Harley have been married for two years. And last year, for David's birthday, he wanted to have a threesome. And that's when the two of them brought me in. I respected their marriage, that institution. And so after the threesome, I cut ties. And he's, he's one that you know pursued me. Eventually, he left his wife for me. My grandmother died this past January, and we had lost the home and had no place to go. So we moved in with his wife, Harley. In order to make her happy, I literally told him to sleep with her, to, you know, pay our rent, to make her happy. Watching David have sex with her, I don't like it. And it makes David uncomfortable also. He, he, he doesn't want to. I know she's letting us stay there because she has the idea in her head that if she makes him happy, she's gonna keep him. That he's, he's gonna leave me and stay with her. And that's not the case. But now it's gotten to the point that it needs to end. I can't take it anymore. David can't take it anymore. And it's not healthy for Harley or those children. David and I are gonna be together. We love each other. And Harley needs to realize that no matter what she does or says, it's not gonna happen. Why did you call the show? Because I want my husband back. She ruined our marriage. She's interfering. She's just trash and nasty. I want her gone. This is pathetic. I don't understand. She pursued a married man. I did not ask for that threesome with her. Yeah, I told him he could have one for his birthday. I said, but under the conditions, I, he had no contact with her before or after. And wouldn't you, as most wives, would be like, hell no? I mean, most, I think, I, I, I'm guessing, if I asked my wife for a threesome for my birthday, the answer would be no. I mean, it's something I'm kind of into, but not like all the time. I don't need it. It's so I felt like if I didn't just go ahead and let, do it, it was going to happen behind my back. Right. So you, you felt you felt pressured and you weren't yeah. married. How, how long have you been married with your husband? Two years. Two years. And you have how many children together? Two. Two. And I'm told, uh, you told my producers today that uh, you might be pregnant now. Right. Yeah. Um, so you've been married two years. Uh, he wants this threesome. He ends up uh, with this Leah. She gets involved in threesome. He leaves you for her, right? He told me he left because he thought I cheated on him. Right. Did you when cheat he, on him? No, I never cheated on him. So he went and he went to live with uh, Leah, right? So then they get turned out and they come back to you and say, hey, can we stay with you? Basically, yeah. And you say? Yes. Why? Because I wanted him in his children's life. And that part I understand. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he pursued me in January asking to come back, wanted me to prove myself and that he wanted to come back. Right, but why did you let her move in, too? I kind of almost felt like that was the only way that he was going to come back to so be with his kids. So now your husband and his girlfriend and you are all living together? Yeah. How often do you sleep with him? At least four times a week, at least. That's at least. But, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good, I too. mean, it's probably, I mean, it's... I mean, it's a, more I'm than guessing that. if... Okay, so say you're having five times sex with him. Probably He's, more than that. More than that. <laughs> So you're, you're liking the sex. I mean, that's my husband. I love him. Like, at the time before he, when he first moved back in the house, I had a boyfriend that he told, like, he was telling me that he still loved me and stuff. So you got and then all, the then that's, yeah, and that's, and then I left but my. But he kept his girlfriend. It okay. just. Are you the human doormat? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be you, but like, what can this guy do? that you would say, okay, I'm not gonna do that. Like, you know, the threesome, people experiment, but he moves in with his girlfriend, he's having sex with you, he's having sex with her, this is the father of your children, this is your husband. Most wives aren't gonna say, oh yeah, when you know, you're done sleeping with her, come on over here and I'll give you some sex. Most would be like, it's get the hell say, out of here right say. now. <laughs> do you ever tell the other woman, hey, get the hell out of here? I've told her, I was like, do you not understand? I despise you. I don't want you here. She's 46. And she's how old? 46. And how old are you? 22, and he's 29. <laughs> it's. Just keeps getting stranger, huh? 
That was Why did you do this to you me? You think you're crazy? How many lies are you gonna tell? You're the crazy one. You get, Quit lying to me. You're gonna tell the same amount of lies to them as you really? told me? Really? 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 What about this baby you're pregnant with? Is it mine? Is there a chance it might not be? Where, where are these all these Why other guys? Why would he at? be here? If you don't like group sex, what about the two dudes like, how long was you living did in the house? Did I say I did it? Yeah, just right here. I, said I, didn't I don't enjoy it. it. Uh, you don't need it? Oh, you don't need it. Every, every, every homeboy I got, every single homeboy I got, you after I left you. Every single one. How many my children? I ain't nobody in that town except for you. Is it true that you slept with some of his friends? Yes. No, oh, oh, no. oh, oh, a few of them, a few of them, hey, he want, she wanted to get it done quick and did them a few at a time, you know, at the same time. Why, why did Am you, am I lying? Why did you sleep with his friends? They were my friends first, Cause first Because they got off. a to them. Secondly, secondly, I'm sorry, how many times can you, without saying it, accuse me of sleeping with one of them until you're going to spend, okay, well, accuse me and you, you are broke up. I never even accused you of cheating when I left you. That's not the reason I yes, left you. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Okay, I can't on. trust One you. One more question before cheating I start Cheating ain't got nothing to do with it. Um, he said you had a threesome with two guys. You said you didn't like threesomes. And my daughter's I didn't say house. I didn't like threesomes. You told what? me you don't like threesomes. No, I said I didn't need them. Truth will set you free. Do you love, do you love your wife? Uh, you, you know, she's the mother of my children. Her. Right. He but asked to come you're home. You're no, no. <clears throat> I, I, I heard the story, you know. But I've never once told her I love her since we've been back. And I, every time she says it to me, I look away from her. Every time she tries to kiss but me, you keep I wonder where that mouth her. has been. You, Steve, I don't want to. And you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> listen, he no, you, you have no idea how uncomfortable that makes me feel. And I'm serious. How, how bad do you feel? My girlfriend begged me and pretty much forced me to do it because she was. She, <laughs> listen, listen. She was being so. She forced she you to thrown, sleep with your wife? In order for us to have a place to live because she's the house and the only way she is happy is when she has somebody you're nasty you're trashy what's up then check it out harley i have been nice to you i have been really uh, yes i've been, been nice to me hey listen i heard no, what you had to say you shut the and let me talk i'll listen to you now you listen to me your marriage was over before i ever came along bitch great shut up. up i am not Get right. up then bitch Ooh, oh God. you bitch hey, um you don't find this situation weird. Yes, I do. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, you're closer, more in age to me than right. them. Hey, yeah. do you want to be with somebody? Do we have That's to force them to sleep with somebody else? Uh, it would, I, I told them to get in there and pay rent so she'd be happy. But why would you ever live with a married couple and have sex you're with You're right. Them? You're right. And you're not only having sex you're with right. him, you're having sex with her, too. Huh? Why are you wasting <laughs> all your time on this situation? Since he's walked down on this stage, has he shown you one ounce of kindness, tenderness, love, respect, anything. Has he shown you any of those things even that much? No, but it's... No. I mean, let's... I, I, listen, I don't want to paint a really bad picture here, but wh where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? I'm a prisoner. He was outside. in prison. <laughs> Every time somebody opens up their mouth, the story just crumbles even more, and you want to even hear less. I mean, this is a talk show. We like to hear more, and I want to hear less. Before David left around Halloween, while together, did you have sexual physical contact with anyone besides him and Leah? Because you were having sex with both of them. You answer no. Before David left after Halloween, while together, did you have sexual intercourse with anyone besides him and Leah? And you said no. And she told the truth to both questions. <laughs> Harley, you took a pregnancy test, and the result is Positive. Not mine. Oh. Yeah, we gonna see. Steve, um, especially when the baby come out, you're looking just I'm like the Mexico. girls. Steve. <laughs> they can still find you there. I you, asked if he you could set meet the me. When you got married, you set the bar that high. That's what you did. Because from everything I'm understanding, this guy told you, I'm a bad guy, I'm this, I'm that, don't have feelings for me, I'm using you, and you said, I'll take it. See, I and even after that, and you realize, holy <laughs> this ball is rolling downhill very fast, you keep standing in the way of it. All you right. have to have this much respect <laughs> for yourself. Right. The only way you get respect is if you demand it. You don't let people <laughs> just walk all over you. You can start your life from this moment on. Kick them off the stage and kick them out of your house. You're going trash.
Bye, Harley. Finally. Hey, you answered to it. And you know what? It was, not, it was good cleaning your house and taking care of your children while you were passed out on the couch. Who cares? Just say, get the hell get out of here. Get off. I was My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.